What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my player career mode. This is episode number 53 and we start today's episode off with a game against Udinese here away from home in this Serie A and so far our record over the past four games has been 1-0, lost 0, drawn 4. So yeah, played 4, drawn 4. Not really the most convincing of uh, records so far but to be honest we take on Udinese here away from home. Back in the Serie A we are still currently leading the league by uh, two points ahead of Napoli with 14 games to go and of course Udinese are sitting in ninth place so you definitely fancy our chance of getting a win in this game and um, if nothing else to draw, not that exactly, no, that's exactly what we want right now but still you'd still fancy our chance of getting the win but uh, the first chance the game would fall here in the 21st minute as you see how, uh, sorry, did De Chegli get on the ball here and play that wide towards Hazard, Hazard finds his man Marquisio, Marquisio then rolls it through towards Tevez, Tevez plays it backwards towards Hazard and we're just waiting for the chance here. and it's Javi Martinez spreads it out wide towards Asamoah it's a good chance here as Marquisio slides the ball through to me down left hand side I cut inside with the Berber spin then offload it towards uh, my man uh, sorry Javi Martinez Javi Martinez collects the ball plays it backwards towards Hazard he strikes it it hits the bar and then Marquisio follows up with a header but it goes just over the bar and out for a goal kick it lands on the roof of the net there so very very unfortunate there Hazard strike hitting the bar and then Marquisio just couldn't keep his header down as it goes onto the roof of the net so Still scoreless as things stood, but from the goal kick here, it uh, would be cleared forward eventually uh, by the goalkeeper towards the head of Aranguiz, I think it is. But uh, eventually, uh, De Chegli gets onto the ball and finds Javi Martinez, the two player, quick one two there. And eventually, Javi Martinez finds Marquisio. Marquisio gives me the ball here. I quickly offload it backwards towards the run of Marquisio, who strikes it and scores as well. So from just outside the area, Marquisio makes it 1 0. And it's another assist for me. I just keep on racking up those assists right now, even though I'm in a bit of a dry spell, haven't scored for quite a few games. I'm racking up those assists and they're very nice to get for me but still 1-0 to us here and in the 45th minute Udinese tried to hit back on the stroke of half time the ball is played forward towards Matej Vidra and unfortunately the goal is scored there as it's played towards Nico Lopez who puts it into the open goal and makes it 1-0 so Buffon came out didn't really deal with it and unfortunately it is one apiece and in the 59th minute Muriel uh, finds his man here down the right hand side he plays it back to him the uh, number 9 keeps on going takes on his man ends up playing it forward towards Nico Lopez who strikes it but thankfully Buffon makes a good stop and keeps it at 1-1 and in the 69th minute Jadson collects the ball here as I try and take him down with a slide challenge he slides it through towards Pereira instead and Muriel the far post slides in to make it 2-1 I have to say Buffon there it seems to go across the face of him and I don't really know why he didn't sort of dive to try and get the ball away but even so it's 2-1 there and Udinese are in front in this game and in the 90th minute uh, De Chegli gets onto the ball slides it through towards the run of Marquisio Udinese failed to deal with the ball here and as the tackle is made, it comes to Asamoa. Asamoa collects the ball and shoots. Good save by the goalkeeper. And then Marquisio's header is saved as well. And as you see me just about to put the ball in there, it's about to trickle over the line. The flag is up for offside because Marquisio was standing in an offside position when the shot by Asamoa was taken. So, unfortunately, we will be, uh, be denied the equalising goal there right on the stroke of the final whistle. And as the goalkeeper ends up clearing the ball forward here from the free kick, the referee does blow for full time. And that does mean we lose the game by two goals to one. And for the first time in the Serie A, we have been defeated. So it's been a really, really bad run of late. We've now lost five, sorry, we've lost five games in a row. We've now failed to win in five games. We've had four draws and now this defeat as well. We didn't play well. I didn't play well. I got an assist, which was nice, but even so, I didn't play too well and, uh, yeah, it was a very, very disappointing game. Unfortunately, I didn't have a single shot in that game. That's how isolated I felt at the top. But uh, yeah, very, very poor game. And unfortunately, we have lost it by two goals to one. And that is our first loss in the Serie A. Not good at all, is it? But still, uh, we had to put that disappointment behind us and take on Napoli here in the Coppa Nationale. Semi-final with second leg. So after losing to Udinese, this is not really the, uh, the, that's not really the, the motivation we needed coming into this game as we try and get ourselves into the final of the Coppa Nationale but uh, we take on Napoli regardless and as you can see we drew the first game one apiece at the Juventus Stadium which means they have the upper hand they've got that away goal which of course can be very very important and as uh, took a look at the Napoli side as well again it's really really strong and they've got some great players in there such as Mertens and Vargas who I really liked when I was managing Napoli on career mode and uh, Akinview's a good goalkeeper as well so they got some good players but I still felt confident of our chances of getting our first win in six games and the first chance would fall here 
as Hazard collects the ball and slides it through towards Marquisio. Marquisio takes on Maggio, beats him, puts him on the floor really, and as I play it back towards Marquisio down the left hand side, he stops the ball, quickly will step over, crosses the ball in, and it's headed in by Vucinic there in the centre to make it 1 0. So, four minutes in, and we are in front in this game, and I'm very, very pleased with that. And uh, if you've been keeping up with the series, you may be wondering why Vucinic was on the pitch there to score that goal because I did say a couple episodes ago he got sold on transfer deadline day. Um, that's actually a pre contract, so he's still at the club. I mean, I, I was a surprise when Vucinic scored, as you guys might have been there, but uh, yeah, he didn't actually leave on transfer deadline day, he just agreed to join a club at the end of his contract. So Vucinic makes it 1 0 here, and in the 11th minute, we had a giant throw in, we launched the ball into the center, try and cause a bit of a panic. Akinfeev goes for it, it's not very convincing, yet it's nowhere near the ball, and uh, Napoli just about escaped, but as they don't really deal with it, Marquisio collects it, gives it to me, I sprint down the left-hand side, put in a great cross, and Vucinic does head it in and get his second goal of the game, so it's an assist for me, very pleased with that, and again, you know, I'm not scoring the goals at the moment, I'm not looking very convincing in front of goal, but at least I'm getting the assists, and that's better than nothing. So it is now 2-0 to Juventus, and as things stand, we are indeed going through. And of course, because of the away goals rule, Napoli would have to score another two goals if they were to cause a shock and send us out in the semi-finals. But in the 15th minute, uh, Napoli would get a goal through Zapata. And again, you know, you saw it in the first game when Buffon, the ball sort of came across the face of him and he didn't try and get the ball away. The same happened there with Stefan. The cross gets played into the center, and as you'll see, a little bit of a hesitation here when the cross comes in right there. You see there, he goes back onto his line. There's no need for that. You know, he could have easily fisted the ball away had he just ran clear to uh, punch it clear but still it's 2-1 uh, and Napoli are back in the game here and in the 27th minute another good chance for them so Pato goes for this header but thankfully Benucci blocks it and he puts it behind for a corner but from that corner it is Mertens the Belgian who will cross the ball into the centre and it's headed away by uh, Garcia here it's uh, then won by Jorginho and as the tackle is made by me it comes to Chiellini Chiellini finds Garcia we go on the break Paduin finds Isla Isla slides the ball through to me I play the offside trap brilliantly I'm just on side. I'm running clear one on one, and I almost, almost, almost completely messed it up because my shot on a one on one went straight into Akinfu's midriff. He had quite a simple save, but thankfully it fell straight back to me, and I managed to put the ball into the empty net. So my blushes were saved, and my goal drought is over. What can I say? For the first time in what, like five or six games, I finally scored a goal. The last time I scored was in this Coppa Nationale semi final first leg against Napoli, but thankfully my goal drought is now over, and uh, it's really fortunate, a really fortunate goal as well because I completely messed up the first finish but thankfully as it came straight back to me all I had to do was stroke it into that tight angle uh, open goal and I did so it's uh, now Napoli 1, Juventus 3 and uh, of course again because of the away goal ruling Napoli would have to score another 3 goals if they were to get through because of the away goal. As soon as they scored 2 goals to make sure they'd level the score on aggregate at 4-3, uh, sorry 4-0 uh, would still be going through but still uh, in, the 50th, in the 57th minute they would get themselves a goal back into this game and get themselves back into the tie. Zapata gets the goal with this header and again it's just this unconvincing goalkeeper streak we have going right now you know the cross gets played into the centre and you know Stefan like if you're going to come out, you know, you've got to be decisive. You know, that's what I was taught. I used to play in goal myself. When I was taught how to be in goal, I was always taught, that, you know, if you're going to come out, you've got to meet it. You know, you've got to get to the ball. You can't just come out and get caught in no man's land. And that's exactly what Stefan does there. He comes out for the ball and he just stands there. You know, like, why are you standing there? At least try and jump and punch the ball or catch the ball away. Don't just stand there. But still, it's a simple header for, uh, for Sabata. And it's uh, Napoli 2, Juventus 3. So despite them being uh, against all the odds here, they were uh, giving themselves a chance to get themselves back in the game but thankfully for us it would indeed finish 3-2 and we are through to the Coppa Nationale final on aggregate by four goals to three so yeah very very pleased we've made it through to the Coppa Nationale final uh, my goal drought's over I'm playing very well and getting the assists and yeah you know we've, we've had a bit of a poor streak of late we had five games where we failed to get any wins four draws in a row and a loss as well but finally we got ourselves a win I played well in that game got a 9.4 rating we're through to the Coppa Nationale, uh, Coppa Nationale final and and, you know, hopefully now things will start to kick on and we'll start to get much better results, put in much better performances. I'll start to get a few more goals under my belt as well and things will look a lot better. But still, as you can see, uh, 37 games, 28 goals, 19 assists, an average rating of 8.0. Uh, those are my stats as we enter a new month. And here's a look at my attributes as well. Still haven't hit an accomplishment in quite a while, but still 86 rated striker looking very good. And here's a look at the league table as well. We are now currently one point behind Napoli. So we've lost our lead at the top of the 
the table and that is not good news for us but hopefully after that win we'll start to kick on and get a few more results under our belt but as always guys a big thank you for watching the video already if you have enjoyed it if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and i'll see you for the next episode of my player career mode very soon